What's up, everybody? Brother Noah here, and welcome to another segment of Crumbs on the Beard. And in today's segment, I want to talk to you a little bit about from the first reading. St. Paul says something that I really liked, and I think it speaks to our time as well. Especially during the time of quarantine and the church is all being closed. He says, the word of God is not chained. This coming from a man who was bound in chains, thrown into prison, and viewed as a criminal by most. But that didn't bother him because he understood that the word of God is more bearing, has more bearing and is more essential than what anyone else has had to say about him. I think St. Paul understood that he was only able to serve the people of God if and only if he placed himself in our blessed Lord, that our Lord and his word was the center of his life. And because of this, St. Paul was able to withstand the worst of torments. This word of God, which is the way, which is the truth, and which is life, which is spoken by the very mouth of God, inspired by the Holy Spirit, cannot be bound by chains. There was once a, um, a police, not a police, a school chaplain that asked uh, St. Padre Pio why he would cry when he would read the Gospels during the Mass. St. Padre Pio answered, Does it seem to you a little matter that God converses with his, with his creatures? And I think St. Padre Pio hit it on the nail when he said that. God speaks to his people. He even became incarnate and conversed with his creation. And he still he does so today through sacred scripture. God is constantly calling us to turn back to him. That even when we fall, he reaches out to us to embrace us in his mercy, with his mercy. Even with things, when things become so difficult, our divine Lord says in scripture to take heart, for he has overcome the world. He offers us peace in the midst of trials, joy in the midst of sorrows, and Easter after a good Friday. St. Paul knew this, and that's why he endured so much for the sake of, for the sake of God, for the sake of his word and for the kingdom of God. St. Paul understood this, St. Padre Pio understood this, and they centered Christ, they centered God and his sacred word and the Holy Mass at the center of their life. That is all that matters to them. And I pray that we come to realize that, that nothing else matters in our life except God. Everything else flows from Him. Only then, I believe, we can better love God and our neighbor. So from the heart of our Heavenly Father, this is St. Barnabas. Peace, y'all.